So I've been filming so much lately that um, I haven't really been riding. So let's get this boss. I've been quite nervous. I haven't done one of these over this wedge in about three months, so let's see how it goes. That was scary. That was genuinely a second trip of the day. First up on a personal level, I cannot believe the interaction that last week's video got. I genuinely got. I'm completely overwhelmed and I just want to thank every single person that tunes in and supports what I'm trying to do here. Like, it's, it's amazing. I should do a bar spin on this bank while we're here. So yeah, the reactions to last week's video was... I really wasn't expecting that to be honest, it's amazing. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Also, I saw a lot of comments saying they want to see me ride, so I'm gonna be trying a bit more. Be mad not to with a completely empty skate park, really. Yeah, it's about four degrees in here today. It's freezing, it's not warm at all. That felt good though, so let's do another one. This thing's pretty crazy. It's like, it's basically like a rail. Because it's so fat, it's amazing for like feebles and stuff. Because I'd never be able to feeble. I'd never be able to like feeble wheels 180 off a regular rail. But this gives you the confidence to go for it a bit more. So I don't think I've ever actually done this. I'm going to give it a go. Ooh. That 180 was rough as toast. So I'm going to do it again from a different angle. So that felt like I was really happy with that. What I mean about the rail is, as you can see, it's wide. So it's nowhere near as wide as a ledge, but it's a lot wider than a regular rail. So if you ever want to learn rail rides or any grind variations, this might be the one to do them on. I absolutely love the look of this setup here, but I've never really messed with it because it's something about it gets in my head. But I'm going to try and feeble the top, the top one. I think what scares me about this setup is like the step below it is like above the bank kind of thing. So it's like it's hard to explain, but you can probably see it. You're hopping over the edge of the bank below it, but I reckon I can do it. I felt really good. Let's get to the real reason I know that you're all here. Last week's giveaway, the response was unbelievable. Like again, thank you so much. But the winner, we're giving it to a young girl called SHS. Media. She's been scooting for a while, um, so hopefully we can help her out a bit. I went on her channel and she has been filming some YouTube videos, some clips, so it's really cool to see her. Like, like six months ago she uploaded like an Insta vid type of video and it was sick, so happy to help anyone who, who can progress through what we're giving them. This week's giveaway is coming, we're going to pick some stuff out in a bit for that. So though I'm going to be filming like a few vlogs of myself riding and a few mates and like me doing like challenges with other riders, I'm going to be Film a load of the locals, that's mainly why I'm here, that's why I want to be here. There's a young lad here called Phil Miller, and he is amazing, he's only 10 years old. I filmed a video with him, which is coming up this week. So make sure you click the subscribe button, and click the bell for notifications. And um, that'll be up around Tuesday, I think. But so I've always kind of wanted to, like, I can just about jump this big, it doesn't look that. So I can just about jump that, but something about it freaks me out. Yeah, I feel like because I'm a street rider, I'm not used to having my wheels off the floor, so that terrifies me. But if this video gets, say, 500 thumbs ups, I'll try and actually get some clips up that next week. Let's pick some stuff to give away from the Rant Workshop. Well, pop sockets are always a winner, so let's get some pop sockets. I'm gonna give away some black 858 grips. Give away a Rant Works t-shirt, you can take your pick of these. When we get in touch, uh, check out shop.rantworks.com and let us know in the comments which t-shirt you'd like to win. And while we're at it, let's give away one of these pretty hats. Little Rant Works hat there. If you want to win everything I've just said, all you have to do is comment below what t-shirt you want. Go on the Rantworks website, shop.rantworks.com 
and let us know in the comments below what t-shirt you want what size you are also i appreciate all the positive comments if you can keep them coming yeah so if you can keep the positive comments coming that'll be unreal um let me know what tricks you want me to do what tricks you want me to get the locals to do if you want to see skateboarding inline scooter bmx uh, some challenges anything you want us to do just let me know and i'm here to give you guys what you want so it's nearly four o'clock the skate park's about to open we're gonna go and film some some clips of some of the locals hope you enjoy Can we all just take a second to appreciate that Dylan Hesse just did a triple bar spin backflip in the middle of a random session at the skate park? That is absolutely mental. Everyone go follow him. His Instagram's on the screen. Thanks for watching today. If you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment which Rampworks t-shirt you want below, what size you are, and why we should give it to you. And we're going to pick a winner this time next Saturday. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We've had an amazing day, as always, at Rampworks Skate Park. It's been good to get a session in for myself, and it's been good to ride with all the locals. So this week, I filmed a video with Jamie Hull. You can check that out here. He killed it. It's his top five favourite tricks and he went in. And you can subscribe to our channel here. Make sure you subscribe. More giveaways, get the bell on. Comment first, get first, and we'll give give thumbs up to first comment on every video. Thank you so much for the support and I will see you midweek. See you later.